Hey there guys, what's going on and welcome back to the Ultimate RTG episode number 9 and you boys are killing it still. The support is absolutely mental and I did say if you want to continue seeing this be a daily upload, 3,000 likes, go and smash it and that would be much appreciated. But last night, let's just say we were slightly off form. I was picking up a few too many losses in division rivals and it comes to no surprise we were making some upgrades and we were trying to figure out what was working with the new team. Coutinho the pie we had also a Kimpembe that were purchased and something just wasn't right and I've realized now that I'm conceding the majority of my goals either on counter attacks or in transition so as I'm building up play and I've got my defenders pushed up on the halfway line bang I get caught I lose the ball in a dangerous position and I'm conceding whereas a lot of the teams that I face nowadays like the formations range from 4-1-2-1-2 4-2-3-1 and 4-3-3 attack that seems pretty decent very very hard to play against and all of these guys are using one style though drop back it is back and it's FIFA 20 and it's very very hard to break down so if you can't beat them you got to join them and that's why we have invested quite a lot of coins in our starting 11 we've gone big and we've made some massive massive purchases 100,000 coins have been spent and I think this is what I need to do as we're getting ready for the weekend league otherwise if I'm using the players that I've got right now no, 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 no. It's not going to end well. So I did buy Coutinho for about 38000 or so, which isn't a bad price with a Hunter Kim style. Sold him for 40500 I worked out that we did lose about a 1,000 coins, but we're able to make a lot because yesterday the one to watch promo started and Golachi, is that how you pronounce his name? Sorry if I got it wrong. This guy was 5009 on open bid and I was buying him to get chemistry to the two centre-backs that we have from the Bundesliga. They share all the same club. And I got him for like 6000 5,009, and I was thinking, I'm going to eliminate. He's 85 rated. Let me just go and check his cheapest bin. 7,005. So I listed mine for 7,004. And as I was doing this on stream, a lot of people caught onto the idea. They flooded his bin and he came down, which is fine. Everyone is out to make some coins. So if I'm sharing this uh, like trading advice with you, like I say, you don't have to copy the specific player to uh, use this. Like, go and find another 85. And as uh, the one to watch packs are, are being opened, well, not so much the one to watch packs specifically. It's really just like everyone opening packs right now to get one of those. And it just causes player prices to drop. And eventually, they will fly back up. So, with him, he was a really good player to uh, just quickly turn over for profit. The pie that I did buy yesterday for 15,000, I don't know what was wrong with him, man. I know a few people do like him on the game, which is fair enough. He just didn't really suit me. The way he feels on the ball, it's like he's a good dribbler, yet he's clunky at the same time. It's like, oh, I don't know. It's, it's a 50-50 for me. Uh, his shooting, I think, is going to be decent, though. His playmaking was nice, but after like three or four games, it just wasn't working. And maybe it was Coutinho as well that just went missing. I really like the informed Coutinho, and that's one of the reasons why I made the purchase on the RTG, but there's something about that card that just wasn't really good enough. Uh, Jovic that we packed in last episode, 5,000 coins. Kimpembe that I bought, 14,000, sold for 15. So although we did lose a bit on the new purchases, and I don't want to continue doing that, we made coins by trading so it balanced itself out and we're still in the green so what i want to do today is go through the season objectives obviously try our new team and the big players that we have gone out of our way to make the purchases for and yeah i think it's going to be a good one so without further ado Let's get into it. So one thing that I really wanted to see yesterday being brought out as the one to watch promo did start was some objectives and we were blessed with a fantastic M Dombele. And a lot of people are asking me, your oh, food, are you going to grind towards it? Am I going to grind towards this? 100%. M Dombele, I think it's unlikely that he's going to get like a couple of informs for Spurs. And I did say like my prediction was that they probably will release him uh, maybe as a tradable card. That's what I was going off of because he's one of those players that if he was available to purchase off the market, you probably would lose some coins. So with uh, what's available, like debut, I've got to play a few squad battle games. A few of these I've already worked towards. So win four rival matches using at least two French players in the starting 11. We've done that. Uh, I, I can still complete that today because i've got like the main defense but i've just reworked like 
pretty much the whole team. Uh, this one here scored 20 goals in any foot game mode this week. 9 out of 20 already done. Then we have 2 out of 20 for midfield maestro. So you just got to get some assists, I'm pretty sure, with specific midfielders. So you can't like position a striker to cam. Uh, that doesn't work. So it's going to be a little bit of a grind, but we're already pretty much there. And then we've got... Yeah, the squad battles to focus on. Eight days. Hold on a minute. Eight days, 16 hours remaining. Oh, yeah, because it's essentially a weekly objective. But M. Dombele, I was thinking, right, if we do unlock him, which which I will, I'll make sure I do, like, grind that tonight, I will put him into a team eventually alongside St. Maximum and get chemistry to the French League or something like that. Uh, we can create a nice hybrid so that's all done with the foundations uh this one here i was like what is it asking for make six green links within your squad so i was like fiddling about i had seven green links and it wasn't registering I had eight green links five green links like all over the place and then eventually it just started to gather up some progress i don't know really what's going on i'd recommend right just building one league one nation and then just start fiddling about and eventually you get the green links i don't know i think it was glitched in all honesty but we get a gold pack there which is sweet we've got a couple of packs to open in uh, today's video as well as silvers that I want to speak about. So in marquee matchups, uh, there's a Galatasaray uh, that you need one one silver from uh, either Galatasaray or another club. And I was thinking to myself, if they start with that trend, silver players are going to skyrocket. So with bronze packs, obviously the bronze pack method is efficient and it's something that I will do, maybe not right now, but in the next uh, month or so, or even a couple of weeks if we are requiring uh, some bronzes for the starter SBCs. Well, I am, but I don't really want to just like invest all my coins that I've got left in bronze packs and then have to sit on those waiting for player prices to go up. I need to be careful with my coins because I've invested a lot into our starting 11. But with silvers, I think that if we can get our hands on them or use them to trade with, it's going to be really, really effective, especially if some desirable SBCs come out or, you know, uh, stuff that is going to really bring in the coins. So Salah's story, I don't even have Salah, but somehow I've unlocked this and I've got a stadium theme, like an Egyptian, yeah, a Sahara, Sahara Desert. I mean, I, I don't really like that. Sorry, don't really like that. I prefer the one that I've already got, which is the Panther for now. Yes, I have unlocked that. Thank you, EA. And the season progress, we're getting there, boys. We're going to claim our players' pack. So let's go and pop these open and let's see what we can pull. So let's get into it. Small, rare, silvers, player pack. This is the best time to be opening up silvers as marquee matchups asking a few and anything else or even just sit on them especially when the league SBCs uh, start getting dropped all of these silvers are gonna skyrocket now obviously these are untradeable are they tradable or untradeable untradeable yeah because they came from a season objective so all of this stuff I can't really do anything about so I just store them in but last night it really did open up my eyes and although we were on cloud nine we were playing well and all of a sudden we get hit with a few losses and i did make some team changes and i was just questioning what was happening was it the way i was playing was i rushing my play and i think it was a mixture of both honestly i just didn't really click with uh, the new signings so that's why some of the players that i brought in i want, wanted to really add is this tradable no it's untradable what i wanted to do is add like quality to the attack midfield Defense was good and goalkeeper position. I've gone for more of a balance instead of like spending like 100,000 coins on one card. Although we've brought in two players that are about 50k. Uh, the team is a little bit more than 100,000 coins, I'm just saying. So last night I did have to clear out a few other extra cards and I was left with 10,000. But we've clutched up really. And our record right now is only, uh, what is it? I, th I think it's like 26 and 9 because of a few like loyalty um uh, loyalty quits that's what i'm going to call them in squad battles and also squad battles i need to play i'm only in silver two or silver one it's something that i haven't really been focusing on as much but with this new m dombele one to watch is someone someone that i want to get in uh well i have to get in before the weekend league starts anyway because we've only got eight days remaining but i want him just in case a few things aren't working in the midfield and i've got to say right the m dombele is going to outperform a Zelinski. Spoiler, 
I brought in Zelensky. And I want to show you right now what we're rocking with. Because this team... Oh my. And we've brought back some of those players that allowed us to hit the highs on FIFA 17, 18, 19. And I wanted to really add stability to the team. And that's why I've bought two key players. The first one is going to be Insigne. And we bought him for 52,000 coins, which seems pricey, but he sells for about 55,000. I was able to get him for a good open bid last night. Four star, four star, five foot four, and his attributes. Now, I used him last night in the draft semi final on the the other account i lost the game but that's irrelevant it was really how he was playing and the dribbling the playmaking the pace and i've come up against him and although he's going to be weak and he's lacking aggression i just couldn't get into him so if you can't catch the guy then obviously you're not going to engage in that physical battle to even bully him off the ball so that's why he is my kind of player and i think he's just going to gel the attack we've got muriel wait for his price 850 coins for Muriel. Four star, four star, high to medium. His in game stats, he's got that dribbling, a little bit of strength. He reminds me of like a worse version of, let's say, a Gabriel Jesus, you know. The acceleration sprint speed is there, the finishing, a little bit of stamina. I think he's going to be an awesome card for us. Lozano. Lozano will be playing as our right striker, and I'm going to be setting up the team in more of like a counter attacking style. So that's why the pace that I'm wanting to bring in is going to be important. The stamina, the dribbling, the shooting, lacking that weak foot, unfortunately, they took it off of him. 16,500 and I can only see this guy continuing to go up as he's received a one to watch then in the midfield We've also got Pellegrini. Uh, I like him. So we've had to drop Golovin Zelinski I went and purchased for 700 coins That's it and in the midfield in a 4 one 2 one 2 I want playmakers and just those that are really comfortable on the ball with his five-star weak foot four-star skills Great dribbling stats playmaking pace. I think he's gonna be important for us and then the man Alan, could he be one of the best CDMs on the game? And that's why it's good for us to purchase a bit of quality. And we invested 41,250. And some people are saying, Fuji, do you think it's a good price? Well, you know he's going to win you games. The attack, uh, the tackling, sorry, uh, the stamina, the dribbling, everything that you would want from a CDM. He is ticking all of those boxes. Now, as we have got the same defense, apart from the two fullbacks, Theo Hernandez, maybe a little bit pricey at 4,007, but with that kind of pace, you know, the defending I think is gonna be good enough. I quite liked him when I last used the guy. So I think for, for the team that we have right now, it just works. And then Malqui in the right back position with that pace, a little bit pricey, like 4,005. So you're having to pay for what you want, and with the way I wanted to set out this team, I think it is uh, looking like a very strong team. And we're going to test it out today. First game with a new squad, we're going to have to get into some uh, division rivals. Now, with the custom tactics, uh, we've made some uh, some tweaks, okay? So, with the drop back tactic, I think I'm going to leave the width on five instead of playing on four, just so um, I can cover the wings a little bit quicker and I can stop those potential counter attacks. With the depth, I've lowered that to three. I was playing on four, so I'm just, I, I don't know if three is better than four right now. I'm just going to experiment. And with the players in the box i had it on six and i think i'm over committing the midfield so let's just calm down a little bit let's go back to four and then my instructions are exactly the same as they were the other day getting behind for the two strikers stay forward for the cam uh drop between the defenders for the uh cdm and then the fullbacks are on stay back while attacking now instead of being on balance. So really, I'm playing a 4-1-2-1-2, one, one, so as I regain possession, I can slow things down and hold the ball, but if I do lose it in transition or I just get caught, then my players are gonna sit back and soak up the pressure because I like the 4-1-2-1-2 one, two, one, two and how it's set out. So with the fitness glitch still being a thing, I don't need to apply anything, and we're gonna jump in to some games, boys. Please let this team play well, otherwise, I've got issues. I've just spent a lot, like the whole club really. And I said that I wasn't going to do that, but I do have quite a few players to really fall back to. Uh, a lot of Deadwood at the club that I can sell for like 600 coins, 1,000 coins if we desperately need that. Carrasco though is going to be our impact sub. I bought him for 1,008. Finally, he's come back down and this guy is going to be brought on for Muriel. Maybe when he gets tired, I've got an option of using Herrera for let's say Zielinski. So we've now put together a side that we've got impact subs ready. It's looking Looking solid and I'm ready to go. Here we go, and we have been put up against a 4-1-2-1-2 side 
That, um, Inaki Williams, it has a two-star wheat foot, and he's selling for like 20,000. Who the hell is buying him for 20K? Everything else is looking pretty solid though. So let's not lose our head. We've got a new team, new custom tactics. If it's not clicking or it doesn't play well in the first game, chill. You know, give it at least like four or five games. Oh my God, this is what I mean. This is where I'm losing the ball in such dangerous areas, but already I can see a little bit more. Uh, uh, yikes. Uh, I can see a few more players. Oh, Alan, thank you. Uh, dropping back and offering that support and with Zelinski's pace down the line and, and his dribbling that is what I need just to be able to like catch my opponents on the counter attacks on the breaks and we're already through with Insigne I'm gonna put no what has he done what did he do that for Insigne Lozano Pellegrini using a bit of strength that's where I don't see my fullbacks though okay good I'll quee with that pass inside yes Insigne Give it straight to Insigne again. What run? What a run. Insigne, yes, please. He is playing as our cam right now, and he's going to gel everybody together. There you go. And I'm not surprised. This guy is quality. 87 rated. If he's not performing, I don't know what I'm going to do. Because we've only got one more week until foot champs, and I need coins. Great goal. The only thing we drop back right is that you don't have that balance of players really defending for you like a re reading the player or the ai taking control so that's what you got to be careful of so in this formation i have got to or the, these tactics i've got to play a little bit more aggressive otherwise you're going to be so passive to the point where your opponents will just like pass it around oh my god this counter attack though this is it Zelinski. hey that was not offside was it oh god no, no, keeper. Oh, what a goal. Damn. Got caught again, boys. Oh, dear. Once again. And he's rushed it. This is where I can see the majority of my goals. And Insigne with that power and pace. A ball roll. That's a foul ref. Referee. Who is the best free kick taker in this starting game? Might even be a red. No, it's a yellow. Chill, chill, calm. Keep our head. The goal that he scored was just lovely composure. Slightly jealous because it was a good goal, but that's fine. Right, Insigne, no, I'm not even gonna go for goal, screw that. Play it on the edge, through. Oh, I, try, I rushed it a little bit too much. And as we can see, 56% possession, 80 pass accuracy, only the one shot on goal. Not enough chances created, just half chances, you know. Overturning possession in the final third. Um, we need to we need to work on, work on it. Maybe it's the custom tactics. Maybe it's the 4 one 2 one 2 formation. You know, maybe this is just something that isn't really going to work long term. And we need to switch things up. But let's just see what he's using. Because he could be countering it uh, pretty well. And he's all... Oh, he's in the 4 one 2 one 2 wide. I don't feel like I'm being exposed, though, down the line. You can play this one short. Oh, Dembele. Oh, what a, what a block. What a player switch. Oh, dear, 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 dear. Suddenly they could be on the oh, good, 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 Yes, Insigne wants it. Come on, support the play then. Support the play, just run, just run. Uh, Kimpembe, we can probably do him for pace or at least like a turn inside like that and then just run across the box, like sharp turns. That's what we need. This guy's a very good defender though. Oh, Lozano. No, I tried to go near post and it was like a little bit underpowered, but it's okay. Uh, let's see what we can do with this one. Like maybe put it in this area. We've got this beast that it'd be able to head something. Oh, just hit it on the edge. Hit it on the edge. No, do not lose it in that position. Go in for it. Oh, no. I was like pushing forward. And this is where I'm going to get caught, isn't it? No, it's not. Well done. Player switch. Good stuff. Well done. Well done. Right, come on, Zielinski. Again, this 4 2 2 Maybe I feel slightly, slightly too narrow. Oh. Oh, penalty. Yo, 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 that's a pen. No. That's another yellow, though, for, for him. Surely it's a red card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A second yellow? Oh, no. It's not even a second yellow. I was getting way too excited. It wasn't even a yellow. That is a goal scoring position. Okay, so as we have got... Um, let's just check the free kick stats. So, 79, 79, 79. Oh, sorry. I was looking on the wrong side. 79, right? I feel like... Oh, it's, it's giving me that corner. Stop jumping the wall. Oh, no. All right, I'm just going to do it like that. And then I'm just going to go, dink. Oh, I can't get it in the corner. I, I don't know if you just, like, desperately need really good free kick accuracy. Uh, good, 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 good interception. Oh, wow. That is so risky. Yeah, he's playing a pr pressure tactic. Maybe that's something that we could consider as well, like, switching into as the game goes on. 
go, hold on. Zelinski. In the middle. Yes, through ball. Go on. Insigne. Insigne. This guy is top quality. You give him half a chance and he's going to bury it. And that's what I was lacking in yesterday's games. But I'm still not happy with uh, with the way we've played. We've got this win, hopefully. But it's it's really it's the build-up. Full-time, 2-1. And I can see a lot wrong with the starting 11, but I've got to take away a few positives. Now, Alan in that CDM position, that's exactly who we need. Someone who can jockey and cover the ground as fast as he does with Insigne playing very well and gelling the attack together. I like the signings that we've made. It's just really trying to fine tune the custom tactics or the formation. Now, that guy was using a 4-1-2-1-2 wide and he seemed, uh, he seemed pretty decent, but we've come away with the win. Good positive so maybe it's just me being a little bit harsh on myself like we're now coming up against some really good players our skill rating is 1497 and with a similar one on the other account even with that mega team it's a little bit of a struggle so it's just learning the game it's just come out like officially worldwide release uh we've got a lot of work to do though and with the signings that we have made in the starting 11 insigne seems really like op in front of goal even though it doesn't suggest that he's got mad finishing but the shot power the long shots the finishing he is super super clinical and that is what i'm after and with his attack positioning as our cam he's always on the move and he's creating so really happy with that signing his strength and aggression i mean he's good enough anyway to get away from the man so as long as you're nice with the left stick dribbling or even LB strafe dribbling, you're going to be able to avoid that tackle. Muriel, one thing that I will say, very, very cheap. Seems okay on the ball, but I think his playmaking is causing me to lose possession a little bit. Like you look at the long pass, the short pass, the vision, it all seems average. And I think maybe I'll be better off bringing in like an Immobile or someone with real quality, similar to a target man. Like I don't desperately need as much pace as that when I have Lozano and Insigne. Why not bring in someone who's a little bit stronger that all of these quicker players can play off of? And Lozano... Uh, he did all right. He did all right today. I'm going to keep an eye on him, though. Uh, in one of those um, moments in the game, I felt like he was a little bit slow to turn back and he didn't have that complete control. And I check out his agility, dribbling, ball control reactions. He should be okay. So maybe it was just the game and that's something that we've got to adjust to. Zelinski was decent. Like, he feels awesome on the ball. Alan was, like, top quality. And I'm so pleased that I've made this investment now. Now, Kui seems awesome. And same with Theo Hernandez. I, I love that... The, the, I love the defense now. It seems like it could carry me in, in a few of these matches. It's just really fine-tuning the custom tactics. And I would say drop back, it, well, it did work. It did work. We were able to soak up the pressure, but I need something extra in the attack. So maybe switching this into a potential 4-3-3 or something along those lines. I don't know if I've outgrown the 4 one 2 2 now. Like, it got me so far against um, those that were learning the game, but now everyone has maybe settled down and found the 4 2 3 one again. It's, uh, it's going to come with time, but we've made big signings, and I will practice, and I'll be grinding for that one to watch in Dombele. And as we get him, maybe we will look to whip out Lozano, have one to watch M Dombele that's going to be able to get chemistry with Malqui anyway. Then we drop in, say, Maxima and go from there. But thank you very much for watching, boys. It's been a pleasure. Um, I will see you on the next episode. 3,000 likes, and it'll be released tomorrow. Thank you very much for watching. Team out. Peace.